guys, uh, Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> Can you believe it? North Carolina, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. It's a beautiful day here. I'm uh, waxing my wife's car. I had to wash it, it was really nasty. And uh, I'm using this stuff that <clears throat> I'm not really sure if I like it or not. I bought it for her for Christmas a couple years ago. You can't see it there. This, look at, look at the consistency of this stuff. It's uh, really pasty. Where's the top? Um, hmm. I don't know where I lost the top. Some my stuff here. Oh, it's over here. This is what I'm using. Lava, luminous glow. It's like uh, my fingers are like eating Cheetos. They do get a little bit colored. I don't know why. But um, I've used this before on our car. It seemed to work pretty nice. Just doesn't, I don't know if it lasts that long. And uh, I've been using this stuff on our headlights. It's supposed to prevent fogging. Look at the fogging up here. I'm using this on her car since I got her car. We got it day one every single time I washed it I would put this on there headlight protectant spray and uh, I don't know looks like it's almost on the inside I can't tell if it's on the inside or the outside no well, maybe maybe it's on the outside as I wipe this wax on it, it clears it a little bit I'm gonna see if we can get these replaced in the warranty they're not blocking the headlight pattern yet but it's getting there it's a little screwed up yeah no bueno anyway so uh, this stuff takes 20 minutes to dry I'm just gonna do the hood for right now and just see what happens I don't know if I recommend this stuff yet I like the chemical guys 50 50 this is a chemical guys luminous glow lava and uh, it looks pretty good when it's done, though. It just doesn't last very long. All right, see so you in a little bit. I'll try something. I'm gonna try something that I'm sure you guys want to know. I'll take a little bit of this stuff and put it right there. Right. Is that gonna be a mess when I go to wipe it off? Is it gonna leave a white mark? That's kind of one of the things I don't like about some waxes. Get it on the trim. Look at this trim; it's all drying out. I use the Blue Guard 2 on that, which I'm all out of. But before I place my order for more, I'm going to try some of these other waxes and see if, this, if I'm going to still use these. All right, so let me continue waxing. Got this right, just finishing up here. So, like most waxes that you wipe on, if, the, if you got any drips or water here, it's, um, it's going to smear. So, <clears throat> I didn't use my air blower to blow the car. I just, oops. I just used the, uh, the towel. So, this stuff is the consistency of a whipped cream cheese. It smells pretty damn good, though. drags a bit when I'm wiping it off. I might have put it on a little bit thick. It's looking pretty good though. We'll go back to that side where I put it on the trim. But last I looked it didn't it didn't make it white actually darkened it so here's a couple wet spots it didn't <clears throat> it didn't smear there I gotta get the front 
coat. And I put another coat on the hood here. Two coats on the hood. But see, I put it on the trim right there. And it's uh, right there. No white mark. So that's pretty good. If you do use a wax that leaves uh, white stuff, I use those um, magic erasers. That stuff works really well. And it rubs right off. But, uh, seems like it's doing pretty well. And those sealants. I know they supposedly seal the paint and everything, but I don't know. I've gotten, like, uh, tree sap or other things on it and it went right through it so i guess it depends on which kind you get i was using that wolfgang stuff i'm not i'm not a fan of that wolfgang anymore it did seem to repel the water for quite a while though but that stuff man the uh frost paint sealant this stuff you get that on your trim oh man a mess to get off seems to last a while though all right so on. got this the uh, wax done did the top the wheels use the mcguire's hot shine hybrid v7 on the rims with the cheapo uh cloth <clears throat> and now i'm doing the wheel um the windows invisible glass and i'll follow up on the outside with a uh Oh shit, I forget the name of this stuff. Rain-X, yeah. And I use this on the inside. I don't know if you guys got one of these things. This one is called uh, Glass Wizard. These are great for doing the inside, especially for the inside. You can do it on the outside, but I usually just use a rag for the outside. All right, visible so glass is the foaming type. I like the foaming type of window cleaners. And uh, seems to do a pretty good job. I'll only use the rain -X on the um, on the windshield. All right, so I'm pretty much done here. Um, last last step, my favorite things from Chemical Guys. Well, I didn't know I had tires on. I'm gonna get a sample of that. I was thinking this was something else. Hold on. This. I like these two. Uh, can't, is it a, is that an angle? Leather scent and new car smell. I use these two together. This stuff is pretty good. It'll smell exactly like a new car. Anyway, um, so that's it. I'm not doing the trim until I get the Blue Guard 2 in. And I uh, thought I was going to get some sex points with my wife. Then she told me she was cleaning the bathroom. So I have to deduct for those. <laughs> All right, so just finishing up. I'm trying that other tire shine from Chemical Guys. It was a sample on my, on my wheels. I didn't clean them first, but I had washed my car not that long ago. Didn't drive it, so. Anyway, Sue's car looks pretty good. Give you an idea of how that lava luminous glow looks looks pretty damn good actually and uh where i did put it on the put it on the fender nothing there no white spots a little bit of spots on the hood i'm gonna wipe that down but all set <clears throat>